press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Hello children, subject EVS, topic the new lesson, food essence of life, food, food essence of life, okay, class 5th, in this class we study about the nutrients of food, the nutrients of food, uh, about the sources of food and uh, availability of food, okay, see here children, in uh, first paragraph, Hasiyade unabeda, Hasidu matira beda, Visiguri tangar unabeda, Vaidyana dasane beda, Sarvagna. Once again, Hasiyade unabeda, Hasidu matira beda, Visiguri tangar unabeda, Vaidyana dasane beda Sarvagna. Okay. See here, observe that uh, this tripadi of Kavi. Sarvagnya. Understood. In the second line, he says not to eat stale food. He said not to eat stale food. Okay. Mixing with fresh wheat. You know, you don't eat stale food. Mix with fresh, fresh food. Okay. Sarvagnya. He says not to eat stale food after heating it again. Okay, why does he say so children? Why? Think right your answer here. Okay, one reason, one reason children, why? Why should, why should we not eat uh, stale food, understood? Eat uh, only fresh food it is because stale, uh, stale food, stale food loses it, its nutritional value. Understood? For it's preserved for a long time. Understood children? Why we don't eat uh, stale food? Because stale food loses its nutritional value. For it's preserved for a long time. Okay. See here, you have to write here. Stale food. Stale. Stale food. Loses stale food loses its nutritional value. Nutritional value for its preserved for a long time. For its preserved. Preserved for a long time. That's why we don't eat stale food. Long time. Understood children? Why we don't eat stale food? Because stale food loses its nutritional value for its preserved for a long time. That's why we don't eat the stale food. Understood? Yes, this line refers to the food uh, which we eat, isn't it? Food is the essence of our life. Food is, food is the essence of our life. Okay. Every day we uh, do one or the, uh, one or the uh, or other work, isn't it? We need energy. We need energy for doing work. How we get this energy, children? We do any work we want or we need energy. Understood? For doing work, we get energy from the food. We get, how we get energy? From the food. We get energy from the food. We eat. Food is necessary for our growth. Food is very necessary for our growth. Understood? Food is very necessary. Food is very necessary uh, necessary for our growth. Okay. Development and good health also. Growth. For our growth. Good health. Development. Development. And good health. And good health. 
that's why we need food understood children we get energy from the food we eat food is necessary for our growth food is very necessary for our growth development and good health also understood it is very necessary for us what is there in the food we eat which uh, which food we eat understood how should our food be the unit contains some information about it read and uh, and then we just understand okay in this class we will study about the nutrients of food the nutrients of food understood about the sources of food and availability of food recognize the diversity of of food in different places by understanding the points that decided the food system okay uh, the changing food habits and its uh, effects on health understand that term food wastage and the methods to preserve it understood okay see here so in our daily activity we are doing a lot of work isn't it for example you all make a uh, get up in the early morning understood you get up in the early morning and uh, you have to go to school uh, in school you have to go to classrooms isn't it they listen to your teachers and then you might play in playground or play period isn't it etc so we have a lot so we have a lot of work we have lot of work need today basis and to do this work we need energy how we get energy we get energy from food we eat isn't it where do we get energy we need energy from food we get energy from the food we eat okay children yes see here andre now ivattu aahara aahara ಜೀವದ ಜೀವಾಳ ಅಂದರೆ ಆಹಾರ ನಮಗೆ ಅವಶ್ಯಕವಾಗಿ ಬೇಕೇ ಬೇಕು ಇಸಿಂಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಹಸಿಯದೇ ಉಣಬೇಡ ಹಸಿದು ಮತ್ತಿರಬೇಡ ಬಿಸಿಗೂಡಿ ತಂಗಳು ಉಣಬೇಡ ವೈದ್ಯನಾಗಸನೆಯೇ ಬೇಡ ಸರ್ವಜ್ಞ ಸರ್ವಜ್ಞ ಕವಿ ಈ ತರ ತ್ರಿಪದಿಯನ್ನು ಬರೆದಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಎರಡನೇ ಸಾಲಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಅವರು ಏನು ಹೇಳಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಏನು ಹೇಳಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಬಿಸಿಗೂಡಿ ತಂಗಳು ಉಣಬೇಡ ಅಂದರೆ ತಂಗಳ ಅನ್ನವನ್ನು ನಾವು ಉಣ್ಬಾರ್ದು ಆಹಾರ ನಮ್ಮ ಬದುಕಿನ ಜೀವಾಳ ಇಸಿಂಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಹಾರ ಇಲ್ಲದೆ ನಾವು ಬದುಕಕ್ಕೆ ಸಾಧ್ಯನೇ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅಂದರೆ ನಮಗೂ ನಾವು ಬದುಕಬೇಕು ನಾವು ಜೀವನವನ್ನು ನಡೆಸ್ಬೇಕು ನಮಗೆ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಬೇಕು ಅಂದರೆ ನಮಗೆ ನಾವೇನು ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಆಹಾರವನ್ನು ನಾವು ಸೇವಿಸಲೇ ಬೇಕು ಇಸಿಂಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಹಾರ ನಮ್ಮ ಬದುಕಿನ ಜೀವಾಳ ಪ್ರತಿದಿನ ನಾವು ಒಂದಲ್ಲ ಒಂದು ಕೆಲಸವನ್ನು ಮಾಡ್ತಾನೇ ಇರ್ತೀವಿ ಅಲ್ವಾ ನಾವು ಮಾಡುವ ಕೆಲಸಗಳಿಗೆ ಏನ್ ಬೇಕು ನಾವು ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ನಮಗ್ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಬೇಕು ಅಲ್ವಾ ಏನಾದ್ರೂ ಒಂದು ನಾವು ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಏನ್ ಬೇಕು ನಮಗೆ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಬೇಕೇ ಬೇಕು ನಮಗ್ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಇದ್ರೇನೆ ನಾವು ಕೆಲಸವನ್ನ ಮಾಡೋದು ಆ ಶಕ್ತಿ ನಮ್ಮಲ್ಲಿ ಹೇಗೆ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಆ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಹೇಗೆ ಉಂಟಾಗುತ್ತೆ ನಮ್ಮಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಸೇವಿಸುವ ಆಹಾರದಿಂದ ನಮಗೆ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಉಂಟಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಏಸೆಂಟ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಒಂದು ಮಧ್ಯಾಹ್ನದ ಊಟ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅಂದರೆ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಎಷ್ಟು ಸುಸ್ತಾಗ್ತಿರುತ್ತೆ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಊಟ ತಿಂದಿಕ್ತ ತಿನ್ ಆಹಾರವನ್ನು ಸೇವಿಸಿದ ನಂತರ ಹೇಗೆ ಅನಿಸುತ್ತೆ ನಮಗೆ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಬಂದಂಗಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಆಗಿ ನಾವು ಎಲ್ಲ ಚಟುವಟಿಕೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ನಮ್ಮನ್ನು ನಾವು ತೊಡಗಿಸ್ಕೊಳ್ತೀವಿ ಏಸೆಂಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಆಹಾರ ನಮ್ಮ ಬದುಕಿನ ಜೀವಾಳ ಆಹಾರ ಆಹಾರವು ಎಷ್ಟು ಅತ್ಯಾವಶ್ಯಕ ಎಷ್ಟು ಮುಖ್ಯವಾದದ್ದು ಅಂದರೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಬೆಳವಣಿಗೆಗೆ ವಿಕಾಸಕ್ಕೆ ಹಾಗೂ ಉತ್ತಮ ಆರೋಗ್ಯಕ್ಕೆ ಇದು ತುಂಬಾ ಅತ್ಯಗತ್ಯವಾಗಿದೆ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವೆರಿ ನೆಸೆಸರಿ ಫಾರ್ ಅವರ್ ಗ್ರೋತ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಗುಡ್ ಹೆಲ್ತ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟುಡ್ ಇದು ನಾ ಆಹಾರವು ನಮ್ಮ ಬೆಳವಣಿಗೆಗೆ ವಿಕಾಸಕ್ಕೆ ಹಾಗೂ ನಮ್ಮ ಉತ್ತಮ ಆಹ ಆರೋಗ್ಯಕ್ಕೂ ಕೂಡ ಈ ಆಹಾರ ತುಂಬಾ ಅತ್ಯವಶ್ಯಕ ಆದ್ದರಿಂದ ನಾವು ಉತ್ತಮ ಪೋಷಕಾಂಶವಿರುವಂತಹ ಆಹಾರವನ್ನು ನಾವು ಸೇವಿಸಬೇಕು ಸಮಯಕ್ಕೆ ಸರಿಯಾಗಿ ನಾವು ಆಹಾರವನ್ನು ತೆಗೆದುಕೋಬೇಕು ಇದು ನಮ್ಮ ಬೆಳವಣಿಗೆ ಮೇಲೆ ಪ್ರಭಾವ ಬೀರುತ್ತೆ ಬೀರುತ್ತೆ ನಮ್ಮ ವಿಕಾಸದ ಮೇಲೆ ಪ್ರಭಾವ ಬೀರುತ್ತೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನಮ್ಮ ಉತ್ತಮ ಆರೋಗ್ಯವನ್ನು ಇದು ಕಾಪಾಡುತ್ತೆ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟುಡ್ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ಓಕೆ ಸಿ ಇಯರ್ ಹಾಗಾದರೆ ನಾವು ಎಂತಹ ಆಹಾರವನ್ನು ಸೇವಿಸಬೇಕು ನಮ್ಮ ಆಹಾರ ಹೇಗಿರಬೇಕು ಅಂದರೆ ನಾವು ಸೇವಿಸುವ ಆಹಾರದಲ್ಲಿ ಅನೇಕ ಪೋಷಕಾಂಶಗಳು ಇರ್ತವೆ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಪೋಷಕಾಂಶಗಳು ಹಾಗೂ ಆ ಪೋಷಕಾಂಶಗಳು ನಮ್ಮ ಆಹಾರದಲ್ಲಿ ಅಂದರೆ ಆ ಪೋಷಕಾಂಶಗಳು ಇರುವಂತಹ ಆಹಾರವನ್ನು ನಾವು ನಾವು ಸೇವಿಸಬೇಕಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಓಕೆ ಸಿ ಇಯರ್ ಫುಡ್ ಈಸ್ ವೆರಿ 
essential food is necessary for our growth development and good health also okay see here you already know that there are many nutrients in the food that we eat isn't it the nutrients of food and the food materials which are rich in those nutrients are given below match the statements that suit to the nutrients correctly okay see here children we have nutrients and food materials okay we can match the statements that suit to the nutrients correctly okay see here first you have to write nutrients okay see here nutrients and another column is food materials food materials okay first carbohydrate carbo carbohydrate carbohydrates carbohydrates we had learned that cereals like uh, are uh, sources are sources of carbohydrates are ragi wheat you have to match ragi second second line see here ragi wheat jowar foxtail foxtail millets little millets bread honey these are the very rich source of carbohydrates carbohydrates see here you have to write ragi or match ragi wheat jowar jowar foxtail millet foxtail millet okay next little millet let millet millet next bread bread next and honey okay these are the very rich sources of carbohydrates understood these are the very rich sources of carbohydrates children next one is lipid lipid okay see here lipid now for lipid lipid are fats these are fats okay see here it required smaller in body understood a small amount of lipid it is enough to give the body a large force in body oily food understood once again see here ground nuts see here lipid are fats it is enough give the body a large force in body in oily food understood ground nut meat fish dry coconut see same egg yolk see here we have to lipid these are fats fats understood it required smaller in body a small amount amount of lipid it is enough to give the body a large force and large force body in oily food it is present in oily food okay we have in oily food ground nuts ground nuts ground nut meat meat fish dry coconut dry coconut sesame sesame egg yolk 
having lipids it is present in oily food lipid lipid are fats understood children lipids are fat groundnut meat fish dry coconut sesame egg yolk these are the sources of lipid these are the sources of lipid understood it's present in oily food okay next one is protein next protein see here protein protein proteins are required in the body growth and repair understood proteins are required in the body growth and repair proteins are pulses have proteins for example for example here we have pulses like cow beans red gram black eyed beans milk green gram soya bean understood these are the sources of proteins these are the sources of proteins okay here we have pulses like cow beans cow beans cow beans red gram red gram black eyed black eyed beans milk milk green gram green gram soya bean soya bean these are the sources of protein okay next one minerals next minerals okay see here minerals you have to write down children minerals minerals are present in vegetables fruits lemon cereals okay see here we have vegetables minerals present in it required by the body it small amounts okay minerals present in vegetables fruits lemon and cereals minerals present in vegetables vegetables fruits lemon and cereals okay see here last one is water water we need to drink for two five glasses of the water every day isn't it you know it present in cucumber watermelon water water it is present in cucumber watermelon watermelon grapes grapes radish radish ash 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 gourd brinjal brinjal cabbage cabbage and cauliflower kali flower okay see here carbohydrates present in ragi 
wheat, jowar, foxtail millets, little millets, bread, honey. Okay. Next, lipid are present in groundnut, meat, fish, dry coconut, sesame, egg, egg yolk. Okay. Next, protein. Protein are present in present in cow beans, red gram, black eyed beans, milk, green gram, soya bean. Okay. Next, minerals are present in vegetables, fruits, lemon, cereals. Minerals are present in vegetables, fruits, lemon, cereals. Okay. Water. Water is present in cucumber, watermelon, grapes, radish, ashgar, brinjal, cabbage, cauliflower. Okay. See here. You have matched the nutrients and their suitable food materials, haven't you? These nutrients are helpful for our growth. These nutrients are helpful for our growth, repair, bodybuilding and for being health. Understood children? We need to consume all nutrients. We need, need to consume all nutrients to the growth of the body, repair of the body, building and being healthy. Okay. See here. Next activity is think we learn that our body need to balance diet. It means, see here, we can't maintain our health. We can't maintain our health if we eat food containing, containing the same nutrients every day. Why? See here, children, we learned that our body needs to balance diet. Isn't it? Our body needs to balance, balance diet. Okay. Cannot be obtained. Cannot we obtain at the same food, so we need to make sure that our food every day contain all the nutrients that are required for the healthy growth of the body. Okay. Next. Next we study about observe the following food materials. See here paddy. Foxtail, foxtail millets, meat, pearl millet, uh, mango, cheese, ragi, ghee, egg, cauliflower, uh, milk, fenugreek, seeds, carrot, buttermilk, radish. See here children. So they have given us list of materials and we need to classify them into food which we have given get from plants source. Understood? And food which we get from animals. Okay? Do this activity. Classify the food materials given above and write them in the table given below. Let us consider these one by one. Okay, children. See here. Food materials. Food material. One column. Here we see first column. Food materials from plant source. It means what? Sasya Moola Ahara Padhartagalu. Illi Kottirvanta Ahara Padhartagalali. Now when Madhbeku divide Madhbeku. Yaudu Sasya Moola Ahara Padhartagalu. Mate Yaudu Prani Moola Ahara Padhartagalu. Food materials from animal source. See here Paddy. Paddy is from plant source. Paddy it is from plant source. Okay. We get from plants it is grows in food crop. Understood children? Paddy, you have to write in source of plants. Understood? Wait. Okay, you also write down children, food material, first column is food materials, materials from plants, okay, from plant source. Another column is 
food material food materials from animal source from animal source okay see here we need to classify them into food which we have given get from plant source and uh, food which get from animals okay see here first one is paddy paddy is from plant source you have to write here paddy we get from plants understood it is grows in food crop next foxtail millets foxtail millets also its type of millets it is from it also obtain from plant source fox foxtail millet okay next meat meat we get from animal it is source of animal you have to write here meat next pearl millet pearl millet it also obtain from plant source you have to write here it is plant source plant source pearl millet okay next mango mango mangoes we get from trees it also from plant source mango cheese cheese we use uh, it is in pizza burger pasta understood children we get from animal source understood animal uh, source like cows from cows milk uh, will prepare cheese understood we get from cheese cheese we get from animals cheese ragi ragi we get from plant source understood next ghee we get from animal source next egg egg we get from animals animal source it is also animal source okay see here next cauliflower cauliflower is obtained from plants it is plant source cauliflower next milk milk we get from animals isn't it milk we get from cows other also animals gives milk next fenugreek fenugreek seeds we get from plants fenugreek fenugreek seeds we get from plants it is also plant source source of plants next carrot carrot also plant source plant source next butter milk butter milk it's prepare using curd isn't it it is also animal animal source butter milk butter milk next radish radish also we get from plants okay we have to write down children next these materials are available for us from plant source isn't it and animal source here we see some of the plant source some of our mater materials are plant source and some of animal source isn't it the food substances from plant source are classified as follows cereals 
ಸಸ್ಯ ಮೂಲದ ಆಹಾರ ಪದಾರ್ಥಗಳು ಸೆರೆಲ್ಸ್ ಏಕದಳ ಧಾನ್ಯಗಳು ಪಲ್ಸಸ್ ದ್ವಿದಳ ಧಾನ್ಯಗಳು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಆರ್ ಬೇಳೆಕಾಳುಗಳು ಆಯಿಲ್ ಸೀಡ್ಸ್ ಎಣ್ಣೆ ಬೀಜಗಳು ವೆಜಿಟೇಬಲ್ಸ್ ತರಕಾರಿಗಳು ಗ್ರೀನ್ ಲೀಫಿ ವೆಜ್ ಗ್ರೀನ್ ಲೀಫಿ ವೆಜಿಟೇಬಲ್ಸ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸೊಪ್ಪು ತರ ಸೊಪ್ಪು ಫ್ರೂಟ್ಸ್ ಹಣ್ಣುಗಳು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟುಡ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ದೀಸ್ ಮಟೀರಿಯಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಅವೈಲೇಬಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅರ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅನಿಮಲ್ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ದ ಫುಡ್ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಫೈಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಫಾಲೋ ಸೆರಲ್ಸ್ ಪಲ್ಸಸ್ ಆಯಿಲ್ ಸೀಡ್ಸ್ ವೆಜಿಟೇಬಲ್ಸ್ ಗ್ರೀನ್ ಲೀಫಿ ವೆಜಿಟೇಬಲ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರೂಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟುಡ್ ಸಿ ಹ್ಯೂ next the list of some food materials see here uh, list of sa- some food materials obtained from plant source is given here observe mango brinjal sesame green gram fox t- foxtail millet amaranth har are harive uh, palak groundnut lemon beetroot fenugreek seeds are mentha sunflower seeds and then sweet potato red gram jowar black gram we know it is fruit isn't it little millet understood next here uh, write the food materials given above in the related petals of the plant source understood children see here plant source plant source okay see here green leafy vegetables you have to write your green leafy vegetables okay and then cereals cereals and then we have pulses pulses oil seeds oil seeds and then vegetables vegetables and then fruits fruits okay see here here see petals also
Okay, see here, children. The first food material, mango. Mango, we know that mango is a fruit. Understood? Mango is a fruit. Uh, we are, we are add in to the fruit petal. See, we have fruit petal here. We have to write here. Mango, we write, we write in which petal? Fruit petal. Mango. Okay. Next, we have to put brinjal in uh, to the related brinjal a uh, vegetable. We will add into the vegetable petal. Brinjal. See here. Brinjal. Okay. Next. Next, sesame. It is we get oil from. Understood? We get oil from. Uh, sesame so we should add it oil seeds oil seeds petal sesame see sesame okay next next is green gram green gram we need it to add it to the pulses understood it is a Pulses, pulses, green gram, green gram, green gram. Okay, next. Foxtail millet, it is a type of cereals. Foxtail millet, it is a type of cereals. We have to add in cereals. Foxtail millet. Okay. Next, we need to add amaranth. Amaranth are Hariwe, understood, it is also seed, it is uh, cereals because it is uh, starchy seeds, we have to add in cereals, amaranth, amaranth, okay. Next, palak. It is green leafy vegetable. So let us add palak into green leafy vegetable. Green leafy vegetable. Palak is green leafy vegetable. Palak. Okay. Next, groundnuts. You must have heard groundnut, isn't it? Groundnut oil. It is a oil seed we have to add in oil seed petal seeds petal ground nut ground nut okay next lemon lemon it is fruit Lemon, beetroot, it is vegetable, beetroot, okay, you, you have to add in vegetables, understood, and then fenugreek seed, it also one of, one of the oil seeds, understood, you have to add in oil seeds, fenugreek seeds, fenugreek seeds, and then sunflower seeds, sunflower also one of the type of oil seeds, from these seeds we can uh, make uh, sunflower oil, isn't it? We used for cooking purposes. 
sunflower it is oil seeds sunflower oil seeds you have to add in oil seeds petal sunflower okay next sweet potato sweet potato is a vegetable okay jawar little millet jawar jawar it is cereals you have to add in cereals next jawar black gram it is pulses black gram black gram it is a type of pulse pulses okay next orange we know it is fruit you have to add here orange fruit next little millet it are little millet it also cereals little millet it also cereals little millet okay understood children once again see here green leafy vegetables palak okay fruits orange lemon mango next vegetables brinjal beetroot sweet potato next oil seeds sesame sunflower groundnut fenugreek seeds pulses red gram black gram green gram okay cereals little millet jawar amaranth here fox tail millet okay Thank you children